Hello guys, in this module we are going to learn about average speed and velocity. Now when we talk about motion in a straight line, we are going to take the same example over here where the object has been travelled from A to B and then it has travelled from B to A. If I have to calculate the average speed and average velocity, first I will define that average speed simply means it is the distance travelled per unit time and when it comes to the average velocity, it is the displacement over time. Now we have calculated the distance displacement in the previous cases. So we need to understand that speed is a scalar quantity, velocity is a vector quantity. So when I'm going to define that what exactly is the speed when the object has been traveled from A to B and B to A, we have already calculated that in that case, our total distance is going to be six meter because A to B is three meter and B to A is three meter. It is a scalar quantity. We don't have to worry about the positive and negative sign. And we have been told to calculate for one second. So uh, simply the answer is going to be that average speed is six meter per second. But on the other side, if you talk about average velocity, my displacement again, A to B, I'm going to take it as positive. And B to A, I can't have the same sign because it is exactly opposite of A to B. So I need to take a negative sign over here. So my displacement is going to become out as zero. That means if I calculate the average velocity, it is going to be zero meter per second over here. Now, if we take an example over here where a farmer moves along the boundary of a square field of side 10 meter in 40 seconds, what will be the magnitude of displacement of the farmer at the end of two minute 20 seconds? Now, definitely there are various ways in which the, the question can be solved. But we need to understand that here what we will do. First, we'll simply calculate like the speed of the farmer is distance over time, the formula which we know. So it traveled 10 meter in 40 seconds. So speed is going to be 0 0.25 meter per second. Now we know that it covers 0 0.25 meter in per second. And the total time which we have over here is 2 minute 20 second. So one minute consists of 60 seconds. So one minute plus one minute because there are two minutes and then 20 seconds. If we add up all these three numbers, we get 140 second is the total time. Now we already know that in one second we travel 0 0.25 meter. So in 140 second, how much distance we will travel. So we are going to simply do this calculation over here, the 0 0.25 meter into 140 and x in one second so definitely we will be able to calculate that the distance covered by the farmer is going to be 35 meter as you can see the square over here he has traveled 35 meter in 140 second that mean a to b is 10 meter b to c is 10 meter c to d is 10 meter the total travel till point d is 30 meter and then it has traveled only 5 meters, so he will be somewhere at point E. What we can say that actual displacement, if I have to calculate, it is always the final and initial point. So if I have to calculate the displacement, I will say whatever the length of AE, that is my displacement. So I know that AD is 10 meter, ED is 5 meter. So when I do AD minus E D, I get my value is 5 meter. So the magnitude of displacement of the farmer is 5 meter at the end of 2 minute 20 second. One more example we have over here an object travels 16 meter in 4 second and then another 16 meter in 2 second. What is the average speed of the object? Now this is a very simple case where we simply use the formula that the average speed is written as total distance traveled over total time taken. The total distance traveled over here is going to be 16 plus 16 and the total time is 4 plus 2. We'll simply do this calculation, we'll get 32 over 6, which is going to be 5.33 meter per second. Thank you.